wanted to explain one of the books that you are using is, is this one. Called the best that money can buy. It's about a moneyless society. Okay, this is the government. So about halfway they go into all the pictures of the objects you've seen. And uh, cities in the sea, it covers you know, the city as a system, the government, transportation, and uh, near the end you have uh, offshore living, and you have uh, floating domes, and then the Venus Prime, what we've done out here. Now, we don't own the helicopter that you see here. People fly in, they drop in literally with helicopters in front of another dome. So the book is, when you get the book and, and you're through reading it, put it in a school library or something so other people can get it. And call up different stations, ask them to present the Venus Project. You're tired of hearing military people and Americans that don't know anything else but force. You want to know if there's any other way of doing it. There are many other ways of doing it. Uh, Are the there any tapes, other questions? The other tapes are I, I have a question. Uh, yeah. sure. Jacques was talking about, um, you mentioned that for your next phase you want to get this movie made. Yes. Do you have like a plan laid yeah, out? We have a, I'm telling you a little bit about the script. Just a little bit about but, it. But I'm saying like an overall plan from here to there like here are the steps, or here's like a diagram, something yes. we can download or well, work I, off I of. I can't release that okay. uh, until you get a guy like Spielberg to come out here. <laughs> are you talking about the up. different steps from here then? If you it really doesn't. In the film business, it, this film will make a lot of money for the money people, but we want a small portion of it to go to the Venus Project, because that's the only way. It really we, doesn't depend on, on us, because we don't have money, we don't have power. It depends on what everybody else does. Depends on who they introduce us to. You know, we've tried a lot. We keep going. We work around the clock. So it, we we have plan. We have steps of what to do and and things to do. But we don't have the power to do it. So it, it depends on what everybody else does to introduce us. So more people get into it. And maybe somebody can can do the movie. If we can do the movie, then we can reach a lot of people. So it. it you know, we have lots of things we could do, but we don't have methods to do them. We don't have funding to do them. Yes, but do you, understand, do you understand what I'm saying? If, if, you're, if you're thinking in terms of like a, the larger movement, right? You, you two are here, you're doing this, you're hoping to do the movie. And I'm thinking that's like one part of a, a much larger plan. Is, is there a much larger plan? Yeah, that's that you what all this out? is. That's what all this is, technically. How to do it, how to, what to do. Yes. Build and demonstrate how a city yeah. would work. After it's, the it's film, we want to show work. at the end of the film that we want to show that we're breaking ground, hopefully, and then have people come and join us. And the, the first city would be a research city. It wouldn't be someplace where people could come and retire nicely. It would be a research facility where the people there would be doing the designs for the next city. And we'd be doing books and videos and material to get this out there. And we'd have a theme park of the future where people could come and walk out and be smarter after they go through that city. I mean that theme park. And then we have people come from all over the world and then build the next city and the next city in different countries. So we have all sorts of plans and we have all sorts of technology to back it up and all sorts of prints. And You know, the movie's not just um, a, a movie, it's a plan, a, a plan of action and a, and a social therapy at the same time for the transition to make it easier. Otherwise it's just going to be chaos and, and fascism and they don't know where to go after that. So all this is the plan. I see a lot of trouble ahead, unless we work at it. So I think it'll happen in Europe first, because they're much they're better there. informed than we are. Yeah, they're on the renewal We've got too much sure. managed news to control people. In Europe, they're more skeptical, and they're more open to ideas. Because their long history of war and pain and suffering, we've never had that. Yeah. Just a shame it's that it takes piece, time. Yeah. There's yeah. no way I can press it. Unless I meet the guy with a cigar and just let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are people in that position, like a guy named Skouris, is that his name? Skouris? Yeah. A Greek fellow. 
Yes. And if a guy like that, he gives all kinds of money to universities, and Roxanne sure, and I sure, build sure. everything here. I don't know, I'm not sure. You know, I'm probably wrong support, about that. We'd be able to go forward very fast. Time wouldn't be as big Because we know easy. exactly what to do, phase by phase. Yeah, we just haven't... We haven't met anybody who will help finance it. I mean, we've been financing it ourselves through outside work, our, our outside well, jobs, guy for the last 30 years. Finance the Zeki, right? Gazeki, yeah, somebody gave the guy, a the millionaire came out here, here and he said to me, I think I told him, uh, if you're so smart, how come you're not rich? And I said, you're rich, how come you're not smart? <laughs> he said, so he said he's going to have a guy film my life and what I do. And the guy left out all the social stuff of the film. He didn't want to rock the boat. And the guy that put up the money, uh, he asked the filmmaker, Gazeki, he said, how much would it take to make a film on Jock? And the guy said, 350000 is it? Yeah, yeah. And he gave him a check for half the amount, and then he gave him the rest yeah, of the If we had that funding, we could have done a great film. But, but we had no part in that. Yeah. But I just want you, you to really know what he did. So I asked him, I said, why are you putting up the money for this film? Do you care about people? He said, no, I don't give a shit about people. I give a shit about you who will make me a lot of money. I just want you to know that. That's all so Zeki you said. Know. No, the reason for the guy exactly. putting oh, up the money. Oh, oh, it has a business venture. Okay. Yeah. That book was amazing. Peter yeah. 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 Joseph. Yeah. 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 Peter Joseph. Yeah. 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 They said, uh, all right, what can we do about it? So the system is dead. He says he didn't know until Roxanne sent him one of our books. And he flew out here right away and he shot for day. And the Venus was here to Denver. It was partly about the Venus Project, but the next one's all about the Venus Project. Well, no, it's going to be more about, he's going to interview a lot of people, and he's going to try and make it mainstream, but it's going to be a lot more yeah. on the Venus Project. He's a yeah. very nice guy, yeah. very flexible, not rigid. You know. mm -hmm. He was brought up as a Catholic, but evolved out of that. Me too. Okay. So. Which is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, but so it's very hard. To <laughs> <laughs> uh, I asked Einstein once whether he believed in God. He said, "Which one?" <laughs> and he wrote the foreword to the book called "Man and His God." Did you know that? No. People think he believes in God. He wrote the foreword to that book. That book is about how one religion influences another. The whole story, "Man and His God," by Homer W. Smith. Had to be on the website. On our website, you can find a whole list of books. So I'll send you guys on the way, and we'll get back to work. You can pick up your tapes, Roxanne.